Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good? We have a weird outcome for this week's episode of Shield Hero. I honestly don't know how to feel about it because it feels as if with becoming a vessel, it would make a a person that we've had on our team one of the people that need to stay here, in my opinion. So I'm actually very interested to see where uh, Reptelia's future lies if she is truly supposed to be the Katana vessel um, that would kind of keep her from being on our team, like, to be fair, which has me the most interested in the end game of this whole entire thing, because not only is she uh, accepting it, she's doing techniques with it already, so it's clearly not that hard for her to uh, be able to use it to a degree that, as we saw, can even take out a guardian beast that's a clone. Um, it can take out a human without him really even reacting, right? Like, every single time he tried to do something against her, she just blew past him and absolutely destroyed him. So I think that's one of the cooler parts about her getting this weapon is how... Not only did it make her stronger and she got these new techniques, she instantly, instantly was uh, growing from it, right? Like, it's almost as if because of this weapon, she naturally got to her, like, stage where she was her strongest back when she was with the crew, which is weird to me, um, just in the grand scheme of what does it truly mean for her when it comes down to uh, this power and not needing to look like look at Fido and you know she's still the same size we knew Reptilia was the same size but just due to eating leveling up with the other heroes maybe that was also a sign that she was much more capable than uh we've been led on to know about her but it still just feels weird i'm not gonna lie that she has a weapon and we've seen where if you have these weapons you're almost not even allowed to leave your own world because there's a whole entire battle going on between your uh your vessels versus other vessels so it's like if that is the case and it's not true where does that leave us at the end of the day for, um, I have no idea how much they're going to elaborate on the chances of teleporting her back to the home with our people. She's already, uh, gotten the slave press removed as well from this bond with the vessel, which really makes you think about what it means to be a vessel. It's almost as if you're a slave to it. So much so that you can't be a slave to someone else, which is actually kind of dangerous if you really think about it. Like, anybody who supposedly has this is just always supposed to be under the control and full demand of whatever the vessel wants. So trying to do anything that isn't uh, what it wants must mean it has some type of control over you, almost as if if you try to pick up other weapons, if you try to, uh, you know, learn, I forgot what it was, he tried to pick up other weapons, and there's something else that he was restricted from doing, or just taking it off, I guess, I don't know, I forget, regardless, I am very curious to see what she can be capable of, not only that, what she'll be at the end of the story now that this is happening this seems like a very cool way to um strengthen a character but at the same time knowing all the rules that come with it is it really going to be a reason why she can't stay with our character the one person she wanted to pretty much 
be with the whole time, and that was her goal. Now it's practically being taken away from her because of a weapon. So they got me completely lost when it comes down to knowing what's going to happen next, and that is truly what I look forward to in most of the animes. I don't want to know what's going to happen. Give me all these information that's interesting, but at the end of the day, if I can't guess what's going to happen, uh, I'm really happy. So take care, everybody. Let me know what you're feeling about this week's episode of Shield Hero. Are you excited to see new stuff? Are you eager to know what the heck's going to happen to our girl like me? Um, Whatever it is, let your boy know in the comments down below. And dropping a like does greatly help the channel, so if you do that, I would really appreciate it. Uh, I guess I have to start asking for those if I really want my channel to blow up. But regardless, I'm just having fun still, so I hope y'all are having an awesome one as well. Peace.